Rinku from Team Roku Yukai has officially joined Universus. I think this is going to be one of the most fun characters in the entire game. I'll first give you a brief introduction to the character and to each of the cards in his kit, but stick with me after because I'll be doing snap grades, cool combos, and deck lists on all three of his symbols. But first things first, let's talk Rinku. 7 hand size, 20 health, air, chaos, and order symbols, and he gets enhance. Your attack gets plus X speed. X equals the number of times you played this enhance this combat phase. It doesn't say for the number of attacks that you have in your card pool. It just says the number of times you played this enhance this combat phase. So the immediate thing that comes to my mind is echo. We can use an echo attack, use this enhance, echo it, use this enhance again. It only counts as one in our card pool. If we have anything that can clear our card pool from there, our speed can just keep getting higher and higher and higher. And we can finish off with some massive dunk move at the end that we can dump our momentum into. And speaking of momentum, we're going to be getting a lot because Rinku gets response at the start of your end phase. If your rival has committed a card in, your, in their stage this turn, Due to your effect, add the top card of your deck to your momentum. So as long as he plays any sort of stun ability or any sort of selective committal, he gets a free momentum to use either for defense or for his next turn. So he can go plus one speed, plus two speed, plus three speed, plus four speed, finish off with like a plus seven speed move and just dump his momentum into it. He reminds me a lot of Denki 1 from My Hero Academia set one. In fact, he's a seven hand size 20 health character on the exact same symbols where he just is getting bigger and bigger and bigger and then he's finishing off with a dunk move and you can't handle it because you've been completely stunned out let's take a look at his attacks first off four diff acrobatic leap kick three high four two high block stun one kick enhance if this attack deals damage commit one rival foundation okay four diff three high four stun one that's solid stats right there it's an off block zone with a pretty nice block and if they don't block it you're going to commit a rival foundation. You get to selectively commit that rival foundation. So they are going to want to block this attack. If you play this as like your second attack as Rinku, this is going to be a five high four. It you, Your rival's not gonna want to block just a four damage attack because they know that your future attacks are just gonna get faster and faster. But if they don't block it, you get to selectively commit one of their foundations. I think this is a really solid card in Rinku. Up next, his rare, five diff, four mid six, two check around the world. The reason it's a two check is if you look at the keywords, it says throw. It's also a ranged keyword and it says stun one. We're talking about incredible stats on a throw. A, a throw that says stun one, four mid six. And of course in Rinku, if you play this as your opening attack, it's really a five mid six. Your, your second attack, it's a six mid six. Enhance. This gets a lot better, guys. Buckle up. Enhance. Discard one momentum. Add one copy of Around the World or Walk the Dog from your discard pile to your hand. Now, guys, I haven't showed you Walk the Dog yet, but let's just consider Around the World. If your rival is at six health you can and you have a momentum, you can say Around the World, it's a throw. You're going to be taking three even if you block it. By the way, I'll go grab my other copy of Around the World, and now you'll take three here. Like it, it can just go and find you more throws and you can go on this crazy throw string. This doesn't say you can only play it that enhance like once during the combat phase. You can go around the world, around the world, around the world and just keep going. He also gets this team Roku Yukai enhance. Your rival discards one momentum. That's pretty darn strong. This is like an incredibly well statted throw an incredible enhance. It is very deserving of the two check. And I think that even with the two check, it's still going to see a massive amount of play. Let's go to his three difficulty attack, splatter drop. One high four, one mid block, slam keyword. Enhance, if you have three or more attacks in your card pool, your rival commits one foundation. Okay, I know what you're thinking. One speed, that's really, that's really slow. But if you play this as like your third or fourth attack in Rinku, this is gonna be like a four high four, five high four, and that's on a three diff. And then sometimes it basically has stun one, right? If you play this as your third attack, it's basically going to be a four high four stun one, and that's really solid for a three diff. But finally, for the last attack in his kit, we have walk the dog. I, I shouldn't keep the suspense going, but you guys are going to freak out when you see this card. 
because I know I did uh, when Levi first sent me the card images here to reveal. All right, here it is. The first eight difficulty attack in the game. Walk the dog, six low six, two low block. Look at these keywords, guys. Powerful three, ranged, stun one, weapon. This attack gets minus one difficulty for each committed foundation in your rival stage, max minus four. So it's not an eight difficulty attack, guys. If, they, if your rival has just four committed foundations, then this is a four difficulty, six low six, stun one, powerful three. This is everything Rinku wants. This is his finishing attack. He's gonna play this as his fifth attack. By that point, he's gonna definitely have stun four. So this is basically gonna be a four def. He's gonna say plus five speed to this. He's gonna say, I'll dump two or three momentum into this. Hey, guess what? This is now a 12 low 12, a 12 low 15. By the way, if your rival has committed out on their turn because they've attacked you just a little bit, I mean, this static is not that hard to get this to become a four difficulty attack. So if your rival has committed just four foundations on their turn, you can play this as a starter for your attack string because it gets enhanced. Draw one card for each copy of Walk the Dog in your card pool. So if you play two Walk the Dogs during your combat phase, you draw three cards. This attack is going to define the meta in a lot of ways on these three symbols. I'm going to be showing you guys a lot of cool combos here after I give my snap grades in just a little bit. But I'll just, I'll stay here for a, a little while longer because this is an attack that is difficult to digest just how strong this is. For example, you guys, like, I love when an attack has three stats per difficulty. If we consider this a four difficulty attack, then this is 12 stats just on face. That's already A tier just based on stats. And we're drawing a card, and we're getting stun one, and we're getting powerful three, and we're getting two of the best keywords in the game, ranged and weapon. This attack is just incredible. All right, on to the foundations. One diff, acrobatic style, three low block. Response, tenacious flip. After a rival foundation is committed due to your effect, ready this card. All right, so since we're playing this stun heavy game plan, if we stay stun one, then we can just flip and ready acrobatic style. This is gonna be nice for Rinku because Rinku wants to play these long chains in his combat phase so that his speed just gets faster, 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 faster. Next up, two diff, two difficulty foundation, childlike appearance, two high block, four check, destroy, discard one momentum, reduce this attack speed to zero. If it is blocked, commit one rival foundation. It doesn't say your rival commits one foundation. It says you commit one rival foundation. So you can use that momentum that you get from Rinku for free. You can use it on defense, take their speed to zero, and then you can commit anything you want. And that's going to further fuel like attacks like walk the dog to become a four difficulty attack instead of eight difficulty. Next up, three difficulty, two mid block, power of the serpent yo-yos. It has the weapon keyword. Your attack gets plus one speed, only playable if it has at least two sim if it shares at least two symbols with your character. So most of Rinko's attacks just get another speed from this foundation. Also enhance flip if your rival has no ready foundations, your next check to play a card gets plus one. Remember, a big part of Rinku's game plan is he's just adding speed, adding speed, stunning you, stunning you. He's working his way up to some dunk at the end of his attack string. And this Power of the Serpent yo-yos, you're going to be able to flip this and just get plus one to your check for your dunk attack. Next up, one difficulty, uh, two mid block, five check, quick recovery. Flip, discard one momentum, gain three health. Typically, we see like zero and one diffs only say flip, gain one, or flip, gain two. But here, it costs a momentum, but it's a spam foundation that we can flip to gain three health. And that is going to do it for Rinku's kit here. Again, I'm going to be giving you snap grades. After this, I'm going to show off a lot of cool combos. After that, I will show an example deck list on all three of the symbols. Let's start off with snap grades. I'll take this pretty fast. Rinku himself, I'm going to give him a B, but he screams fun to me. I'm going to play this character a crazy amount of time. He's just going to be a lot of fun to play, getting all this speed, 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 free momentum. There's a lot going on here. Acrobatic Leap Kick. I think is very good in Rinku. 
Outside of Riku, we'll see a lot less play, but it's still a pretty solid attack. Around the World is definitely an A. Splatter Drop, a C+. I think it's pretty niche. I think it's probably going to be the attack you're taking out of this kit um, when you're looking to supplement it with other cards from like Team Roku Yukai or cards from past sets in standard format. Walk the Dog, I think, is a meta definer. I think this attack is crazy. Uh, a+. Plus. I Maybe a top five card in the game. Maybe a top three card in the game. Uh, acrobatic style B, childlike appearance B+, plus. that's pretty solid, getting us to selectively commit a rival foundation if you block it and you're going to be blocking. It's just zero speed once you use this effect. Power of the Serpent Yo-Yo C+, plus. it's a little heavily gated with having to share two symbols with your character. One stat for a three diff, uh, typically you'd expect that from a two diff, but it does have the weapon keyword and it does have this bottom enhance where we can sometimes get a uh, plus one to our next check. So C plus here, I still think it's pretty solid. It's just going to see some more niche play than these other cards. Quick recovery, B minus, a spam foundation that you flip for to gain three health. How can that possibly be bad? All in all, this kit, this kit is incredible. Typically, you look at a kit and there's going to be like three or four stinkers. I don't think we have a single stinker in this kit. All of these cards are pretty solid uh, depending on the situation that you need them. And then I think we get by far the coolest rare and ultra rare combo I have ever seen. These cards, I can't even begin to describe to you how excited I am to play with them. The design of these cards is so cool. This discard of momentum, grabbing around the world or walk the dog, this eight difficulty attack that can become a four difficulty attack that has powerful six low six. I'm so excited to play with this rare and ultra rare combo. They're gonna be good in a lot of other characters beyond just Rinku. But of course, Rinku can make the most of them. This is going to fuel his momentum game plan. This is going to be his dunk attack. With all that said, let's jump into some cool combos. First off, Vast Hybrid Chimera Kraken. It, uh, it says commit and freeze one rival foundation. This doesn't say you have to play a stun move. Rinku's response. It says at the start of your end phase, if your rival has committed a card due to your effect. So you can lead Chimera Kraken freeze one of their foundations, and then just build. You know, you don't have to go on this long attack string. Maybe you just have a build turn, but you still want to get your free momentum. Play a Kraken, freeze something, get your free momentum, move on. Or this is a great string starter. And it can also commit a rival asset. Also, it shares two symbols with your character, which means Power of the Serpent Yo-Yos can give it a speed. Next up, can we talk about Double Trouble? Rinku is going to love Echo Attacks. Rinku doesn't want cards in his card pool because he just wants to keep adding speed because he gets to add a speed for every single attack, every single time he plays this enhance during the combat phase. So for a double trouble, he gets to use this enhance twice. If we played like Chimera Crack and gave it a speed, double trouble, now we're giving it two speed, we are covering up the biggest weakness of double trouble. The fact that it's a two mid attack. Now it's a four mid attack. It also has stun to go along with our stun game plan. Then we're going to echo it with our free momentum. Now it's going to become a five mid five. Now it's going to flip, but we only have two cards in our card pool. So now our third attack in our card pool is actually going to be getting plus four speed. He just gets to send free double troubles all day. And he's filtering out his hand. He's now going to become a seven hander who gets to discard a card and then draw a card. And he's going to be able to do that twice. So with one double trouble, he basically gets to see nine cards. Next up, we have Frog Strike, a 4 mid 4. One of the toughest things for Rinku is that he's not adding damage. He's adding all this speed, and so he can, he can work his way up to some massive dunk attack, but he needs other attacks that are, are making his rival block, right? That are forcing his rival to really commit out and respect his early attacks. You don't want your rival just saving all their defense for your finishing move. And Frog Strike says, discard one card, this attack is 3 damage. You're a seven-hander who gets to play Walk the Dog and draw a billion cards. So you can afford to discard a card for three damage. If you play Frog Strike as like your third attack and attack string, it's going to become a seven mid for seven that you can flip a foundation and seal something. Also, it has stun one to go with the stun game plan. Also, it has deadlock enhanced ready three foundations to help with his stringing. And it shares two symbols with him so it can work with Power of the Serpent Yo-Yos. Next up, Heroic Clash. Heroic Clash is, I think, one of the most fun character, one of the most fun cards in all of Universes. At least it has been in my experience. 
And there's three major downsides to Heroic Clash and Rinku completely takes away two of them. The third one being the one check. Hey, listen, nothing you can do about it. If you're playing Heroic Clash, you're playing a one check deck, but Rinku is adding speed. So if this is the fourth attack in his card pool, or not even his card pool, just the fourth time he's played this enhance, it's gonna be a seven mid for seven. We're gonna use our free momentum. We are going to remove all of the cards from our card pool. What is the big downside of this enhance? It's that your rival is also removing the cards from their card pool, making it easier to block. Not anymore, because Rinku is still adding more speed. He just gets a second turn, basically. Oh, by the way, you're drawing two cards. Um, so if you go attack, double trouble, echo double trouble, attack, heroic clash. Now heroic clash is like an eight mid seven. You're going to clear your card pool. You get to start over, basically, draw two cards. And now your next attack, you're going to say like plus six speed. <laughs> this is nuts when it actually goes off. All right, next up, Ricochet Charge. Two high four. If this is the only attack in your card pool, gain stun two to help out with his um, response. And we get this air enhance. If this attack is not blocked, discard it from your card pool. So again, remember, we want our rival blocking our early attacks because we want to hit him over the top at the end with some massive finishing attack. And this is saying, if you don't block this, then Rinku just gets to discard it from his card pool and keep giving more speed. That's going to do it for the attacks. Let's look at childlike appearance combined with Showdown. What's the big dice downside of Showdown? It's that it's a three block modifier. We're going to use childlike appearance, take the speed down to zero. We're going to block with Showdown. Now we're not committing two rival foundations. We're committing three rival foundations. That's crazy. Next up, let's look at other characters that really benefit from his kit. And of course, the first one that came to my mind, as soon as I saw Walk the Dog, it was like, this is a Toga 3 card. This could take Toga 3 and just make her like a top 10 character in the game. This is everything Toga 3 wanted. This is a weapon card that says stun 1, so we can respond with Toga. After you play a weapon attack, your rival commits a foundation. Then we're going to play stun 1. It's draw that Toga needs. Um, and it's this finishing attack since Toga is getting all this free momentum. We can dump, once they're committed out, we can dump that momentum into the powerful three on Walk the Dog. This is really just everything Toga 3 wanted on the chaos symbol. Next up, Shoto Todoroki 2 with Around the World. This is a ranged throw, meaning we can play this as our attack. We can say, hey, make it a six mid eight, stun three, because this stun one, then we're gonna add stun two. And then it's going to go to our momentum and we can just add it right to our hand and do it again next turn. Well, hey, did you enjoy getting hit with that six mid eight stun three throw? And if you blocked it and committed your resources to block it, maybe I just get to kill you now. If you don't block it, hey, I'll just pick it up. We'll do this again next time. Next up, All Might 7. Um, ranged or weapon attacks get two speed. So around the world in All Might 7 is going to be a six mid six throw. Walk the dog becomes an eight low six. And then if they both are at least dealing six damage just on face. So if they hit, you get to draw two cards. Basically with All Might 7, you're throwing out this six speed throw. And you're saying, if you don't block it, if you don't like commit your resources to block and still take, uh, then I'm going to be dealing six damage and drawing two cards. So you're gonna have to waste resources to save yourself three damage. Feels really, really good. Last up, Spinner with Power of the Serpent Yo-Yos. One of the things I love about Spinner is you get to build a foundation from your hand, meaning you can build three difficulty foundations. So we can just build Power of the Serpent Yo-Yos from our hand, and there are a lot of weapon attacks here. I think on Order and Void, uh, you get access to like Stain's Kit. On Order and Good, you're getting access to like Hawk's Kit. Uh, there's a lot of things that you can be doing there that share two symbols with your character. Obviously, Spinner also benefits from Walk the Dog, which is a weapon attack. Last up, let's look at some sample lists. First up, the order symbol. And with the order symbol, I went a little um, off the beaten path. Remember, I am making these lists with no My Hero Academia set one, and I am making this these lists not knowing anything else about Yu Yu Hakusho Dark Tournament. I am positive that Rinku is going to be getting Massive upgrades based on other Team Roku Yukai kits. Right, he's going to be having a lot of other Yu Yu Hakusho Dark tournaments that really benefit this character. 
but the deck lists I'm showing you are simply uh, My Hero Academia sets two on up until Yu Hakusho Dark Tournament. So here on the order symbol, my first thought was bullet punches. Because we get to use this free momentum to echo bullet punches, and then we're gonna be putting a punch into our momentum, and then we really wanna string out as long as, as possible. What benefits that? Repeated 100% smash and re-readying our stage. So everything is a punch here except for walk the dog. You just have to play walk the dog. You know, and this is your finisher most of the time, so it doesn't matter that it's not a punch. You can afford it, and it's still really strong. We get Vanquishing Punch and Smashing Nomu as punches that have stun on them to get our free momentum when we're just poking. And we can do some funny things with Smashing Nomu. Like, you get this discard momentum, the attack of the damage cannot be reduced. Well, now we can use, like, Elasticity to give it three damage. We can use, like, a Downward Frostbite. If, if we played that before to give it three damage and now you're looking at like a nine damage move, there's some there's some cute things that we can be doing here. Award the victor, the new number one. Uh, we got showdown, of course, because this is the order symbol. We have a lot of speed control on the order symbol. Ice gliding and fusion are amazing cards to stay alive. Remember, we're a squishy seven hander with hardly any defense on face beyond, hey, I get a momentum. So of course we're playing childlike appearance to side with showdown but we're going to need a lot of speed control to stay alive on defense so ice gliding infusion coming in big there from there i will show you my chaos list on chaos i decided if there was any deck list i was going to show you that had hero hero clash it would be chaos because we get access to all of these really strong one difficulty and zero difficulty foundations post rotation chaos will still get access to basic training and easily excited basic training really goes along well with Rinku in that it gets this deadlock enhance. All of your attacks are getting plus one speed. We get a lot of defense here with struggling with studies and fast friendship. Fast friendship being one of these new cowboy bebop cards that I think is insanely strong. We're also getting like a nice try for speed control and we can commit it to play these long strings of attacks and then we can just re-ready it on defense. We're getting access to manifest. I'm playing three copies of Manic manifest because we're being pretty aggressive on attacks that want momentum. We're playing three double troubles that want momentum to echo, and we're playing three heroic clashes that want momentum to clear to uh, remove all the cards from your card pool. Also, heroic clash pairs really nicely with award the victor, because award the victor says after your attack deals damage, put it on top of your deck, your next check gets uh, plus two. Heroic clash says after this attack resolves, remove everything and draw two cards. So you can use um, here before the attack technically resolves. You can stack your Royal Clash on top of your deck, but once an attack is uh, deemed to have dealt damage, it's automatically deemed that it's going to be resolving. And so then you get to resolve Heroic Clash's um, enhance and draw two cards and draw Heroic Clash right back to your hand. Also, we're taking advantage of Frog Strike here. And of course, Vast Hybrid Chimera Kraken as the best string starter. Lastly, we have my Air Symbol deck here. And on this, we're going like all high attacks. Acrobatic Leap Kick, uh, Velocity Rush, Vast Hybrid Chimera Kraken, Ricochet Charge, Spiral Blast. And what do we love to pair with high attacks? Falling Skies. This is a great dunk move. We can just add like five speed, five damage. We can pair all of these high attacks with even more speed with quick response. And then I'm also running around the world because this Falling Skies and Around the World gives us four throws to just poke with and further gain momentum. We also get three copies of Walk the Dog. These are gonna be great things to cash in on Around the World to go and grab later in the game. On the Air Symbol, we get access to a lot of momentum-based defense. It's one of the biggest reasons to play this symbol. We're getting access to Cheerleader, Decoy Duplicate, Childlike Appearance, a lot of things that we can be using to just like zero out opponent moves, rem remove them from the, or discard them from their card pool, give them flash. Vast Hybrid Chimera Kraken is a really cool uh, card in Rinku and that we can just add it to our momentum. And now we have something to like uh, echo a Spiral Blasts. One echoed Spiral Blast is gonna gain us four health. And the downside of Spiral Blast is that it's a three high, but now we're adding speed with Rinku. We get this uh, Young Heroes that we can commit to commit something in their stage. Teamwork for a little extra damage. Basic training, I love to pair in any list with throws. We can give three damage to around the world. Now, if they block it, our next attack is also going to be getting 
three speed. Also, we're getting uh, Nezure Chan of the big three to just give a little bit more damage because Rinku's not adding damage on his own. He's adding speed. By the way, I just wanted to show you, I forgot to mention, I've always been looking on the order list. I've always been looking for a cool character to run Deadbolt in. And Rinku just seems like the perfect fit because you can play Deadbolt, freeze and commit two of your rival foundations, and then just build. So you can get your free momentum with Rinku without even throwing an attack. All you had to do was play Deadbolt. It's going to help you because you just froze two of your rival foundations. It's going to help you uh, be easier to defend. I think it's a really cool combination. Also, Hacker Extraordinaire, always a great way to uh, cash in on your momentum. So that is going to do it for my three sample deck lists and for my Rinku reveal. I am so excited to play this character, and I think that Walk the Dog and Around the World make for the coolest rare and ultra rare combo that I have ever seen. Well, that is going to do it for me, guys. Let me know what you think about Rinku and all of the cool combos that you can find in the comments below. I'll see you guys next time.